listen to me, child. I don't care. The fact that I have been dealing with so much. <laughs> yeah. We're having a little drink drink. No chaser. No mixing. Straight level. That's little. Yes. That's what we're doing. Okay. Anyway. Welcome to the vlog. Yeah, we, we, we starting it out, huh? Yes, we are. Cheers. Yes. Where is it? Bloop. Yes. Listen to me. It's raining outside. I'm hungry. Cause this is a uh, this is a little um sleeping sedative. Plus, it makes me hungry. So we're probably gonna find food pretty soon. Probably gonna do wing stop. <laughs> Okay, see you when I get my water. Okay, so I'm in a parking garage. I'm about to go to a museum. I want to see these all original. Sitting on the bench because I'm tired. And there's a restaurant in here. So, let me go to that.
Still beautiful coloring too. I don't know if I said this already, but this museum is huge. I've been here for four plus hours. One exhibit, there's like five. I really don't remember if I told you that, but it's true. I'm gonna have to come back. We're wrapping up clothing, but that was the trip to the museum. So I know there's a lot of clips about, you know, stuff that's in the exhibit. Not sure if this is the end of the vlog, because it's not the end of my day. So we'll see. It. It's raining. Let me get back to the car. Also, there was a nice reception area for after hours, so somebody rented out the whole museum, well, a section of it, for the reception. It's so nice. I am back at it. I fell off for I think a couple months. 
got to get back to it because I'm, I think, three weeks before my vacation. And I got to look fine in the dresses. Because I used to pretty much fast walk, sprint, whatever you want to call it, from jump. But I'm going to give myself grace, do a slow walk, go from there. There's duckies. This one's a lone one, apparently, because the other one's on the other side of me, frolicking. And it's raining, kind of, sprinkling the thing, but I don't mind it because it's still kind of muggy, so got to get the walks done no matter what. Bye, Ducky. Going back to his family over there. Bye-bye. There was a sign that said you could fish and whatnot. So I wonder what type of fish are in here. Fishing is a quiet activity, is patience and all of that, depending on what time you go and catch of the day, if you will. But I like watching people fish. I don't personally like fishing myself, but I'm just gonna have to get into it because it is a calming activity. And now I know that I can fish here. So as I said in previous videos, there are times where people fall off their routines and regain it and so on and so forth. We're human. But as long as you take accountability that you're able to get back up and you know what you need to do to change either your mind, your body, your spirit, whatever the case may have you, continue to do that. Because righteous people always fall back many, many times, but the fact that they correct themselves is what makes them righteous. So just ponder on that. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Given that work has been so busy, I needed a midday snack and caffeine. When I tell you I haven't had an iced chai latte, chi? Ice chai latte in so long. And I need caffeine because <laughs> life is calling for it right now. And I wanted to try the egg whites with the red pepper flakes on it or whatever nothing at that place is reasonably priced it's just not and it's windy so that's fun today i gotta prep for a day Given that I have to work the next day, I have to relax as soon, pretty much as soon as I get home. Because in Leviticus, there is a certain day that is today and tomorrow. And Leviticus is a biblical book. Just for reference. I think I'm either going to grill lamb or burger. burgers because if anybody knows me I love burgers so yeah, I just wanted to hop on and tell you the rest of the day's plans after work and I will see you then
Hey y'all, sorry if y'all feel, not feel, I'm feeling is. <laughs> sorry if you hear stomping. It's again, it's upstairs. This is all well documented anyway, so at this point, I'm not numb to it. It gives me over sensory vibes, but there's nothing I can do since my place of residency doesn't do anything about it. So maybe I'll catch this in full time and show them this clip as well. Never know. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that, you know, I am in a place, hold on, let me adjust a little bit, this is my Bible, um, yeah, I'm kind of, it's a very gloomy day, don't have overhead lights in my living room, so we're just gonna make it do what it do with this lighting, okay? I'm not in the mood to even turn on lights for real, so anyway. I just wanted to come on here because, you know, the grilling that I told you I was going to do is not going to happen because it's gloomy and rainy, so can't do that. And I'm still going to cook because it is important because I, you know, I have been really, really bad at celebrating certain days that are in the text, you know, and I want to be able to do more when it comes to that. So. Um, so I haven't gone and <laughs> get the items yet, but I haven't done my night routine either. So I want to take time to do that. But before I did all of that, I wanted to sit down and just talk per usual as blatantly as I do, because at this point, at this, you know, time in my life and, you know, just the mental capacity that I have, you no, know, I'm going to have to talk about it. So overall, the lesson that I want to be able to portray is that there are certain battles that people have to go through. And a lot of us are in a boat where we're not able to make our own financial decisions, meaning we have an occupation that we need to go to every day in order to receive a paycheck, right? We are required to do that because we aren't able to, you know, whether, you know, you're just starting out a business and it's not as lucrative right now. I'm in that boat too. I have two websites. I just launched them this year and I know it's a longevity game. So I have to be patient with that. However, when it comes to <laughs> the society, that we're in now i know that social media makes it seem like people are just always booking flights and they're doing this that and the third and making their you know being more financially literate good for them right some people also need to understand that people with financial literacy still has ebb and flows of situations they may have an abundant season and they may have a very down, brokeish type of season. It's an ebb and flow type of thing. Normally, if you get a lot of money, you also lose a lot of money. You get little money and you also can give a little money. You know, it's, it's the same thing, socioeconomical. There's levels to it, right? My issue is... When it comes to the worker bees and those that want to have a prosperous situation and want to help, like genuinely want to help either companies grow or be a part of a team or just want to help in general and still get talked down to, still get underappreciated, still get undervalued. Because at this point, like I said, in my life, I am not being undermined, undermined, not doing it. I'm not getting talked to any type of way without having a solution because there's <laughs> I've been talked down to for so long when it comes to previous institutions and they did not recognize the healthy boundaries that I had. They didn't recognize the challenging 
of the status quo. I'm always going to be that. So if I'm going to be a problem, so be it. I'd rather just do my own thing and call it a day because it's never me with ill intent. I'm always a team member to be able to make something better. I'm supposed to be there to make, you know, either policies or something better, especially if I was hired to do that in the first place. So why, you know what I mean? Just as an example. So with people getting constantly shorthanded when it comes to people in their, you know, workplace, their home living arrangements, again, I'm going to keep it a bean. I'm going to keep it a buck. All of that, I do not care. Because at this point, I am going to speak out loud because there was a point in time and there are still some things that I'd rather have in a book. And that is in progress as we speak you know it's from thoughts to paper to publishing so i'm still working on that still working on um you know getting the second book out and the third book side rant okay i just want people to get paid what they're owed for the quality of work that they do especially People are human, especially in the humanities field and manual human work, okay? there There's a thing called human error. Now, for the people that have a position like me, where they do not, uh, if you will, everything is manual. So when, when it's peak season, you know, it's a lot of number crunching. It's a lot of whatever. So people that have an automated job have it simpler than those that have a manual job. Again, I'm not comparing. I'm just saying the, f yeah, you heard it. I'm just, uh, just stating the facts. That's where I was at with that, with the, with the manual, with the automatic and the manual. So let's just call it a spade a spade. So I think it's important because I, I'm always in a leadership type of position, role, mindset. If you are considerate regarding other people or what they have to do to complete a task, or that I'm thinking grace. You, you have to give people grace. Now, mind you, I can't say anything when people mess up to me. At least I thought I couldn't, but at this point, like, just a switch came off. Like, y'all not finna, <laughs> and I'm talking about anybody. I am not going to continue to have the treatment that I have and not be rewarded for it. I don't know when I'm going to get rewarded for it. It's getting irritating. It's getting annoying. I have to ask God to have me turn the other cheek every day almost at this point. Because as I said previously, <laughs> life, there's people that get their ass whooped on a constant basis and get stronger for it. And the people that just are able to skate yes they still have issues but their problems aren't as grandiose as someone with real issues and problems have right so i'm just saying all that to say that people <laughs> that are able to just not have a care in the world now there are literal people like groups of people that are in this category for all the other ones that's who i'm speaking to the ones that i have to skate and can do all and been haven't been set up and have families back them up and doing all, i don't that's just is what it is i'm at that point and it's like i just want to be a motivator because i'm still able to stand here and be a graceful woman i'm still able to stand here and have laughs i'm still able to have and find happiness somewhere i'm still able to speak so that way people that are going through the same thing or have gone through it in the past or feel like they're going to go through it again able to get through it easier because everybody has the same 24 hours 
I'm just using mine to be able to use my voice to the fullest capacity that I know how at the time because this is 2023. I don't know what it's going to look like next year, five years from now, and so on. I don't know where my path is going to go. I'm not saying I'm lost because I have the guidance of the scriptural text, but when it comes to life navigation, I have been more so just wanting to be guided. I don't want to make the plans anymore. I don't want to, of course, I'm going to put in the work, but when it comes to feeling so stressed out and what the next step is and okay, I have to do this by this, I have to do this by this, that's exhausting. I realized years ago that that's exhausting and I slowly wean myself off from doing that. So with that correlating to, you know, feeling undervalued, that's when you can combat that by knowing your worth. So with all of that, I want to be able and want you guys to know that you're able to navigate through more hard times when it comes to the topics that I mentioned, when you know your worth, right? When I know, as I said in previous videos, when I'm bored with something, or if I'm just so annoyed to the point where I just, I feel like I can't function, I'm going to move on. Just is what it is because I know my worth is I have a vast skill base. I'm not afraid to talk in public. I'm not afraid to talk in front of a camera. I'm not afraid to talk, you know, I'm not afraid to have social, you know, adequately spoken type of positions. I'm not afraid to have office positions. I'm not afraid to have laborers position. I have had them all and I have been successful in all of them. So I need people in society to understand that people like me that they cannot put into a box. Okay. And I'm just venting, you know, it's normal. Again, this is my therapy and it's going to help somebody as well. Everybody on this planet got me messed up. And the fact that, you know, I don't want to call it hatred, but the but the peculiarness that people have about me or the things that they say in real life, because, you know, with this community, it's either, you know, it's to me, it's uplifting, you know, because I know you guys see it. I know you guys like it. I know you guys tune in and I still don't. Um, for some reason, I'm still able, unable to see my full anal leg. So I just, I truly want to understand. But in the meantime, I'm just going to spew it out. And I'm going to say what I need to say on each episode, especially when it comes to the more, you know, fun yet rant, the fun again <laughs> type of content that I do because it's realistic in real time. And I want people to know that they're able to do that as well. Well, I want people to be encouraged to have a voice. I don't feel like it's healthy for people to just sit back, take stuff over and over and over again. Now, mind you, there is a balance to it. There is a balance. You don't want to be like one of these people that just bog down, nag, and hammer into things. There's a way to adequately and assertively communicate what you would like to see happen for your life, goals, workplace relationships all of that there is a certain way that you have to articulate yourself to be able to get to where you want to be now personally i took a step back with that because i got complacent in things now i know that i need to turn it back up and that's what it is because because <laughs> again my skill base is very fast and not fast vast to if you think I'm saying fast, I'm saying vast, meaning broad. I have a very broad skill base when it comes to literature, when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to wisdom, when it comes to speaking, when it comes to, you know, just analytic, all of all of the things. I have learned all of that and I've been doing it for, <laughs> I'm not going to say how many, but I've been doing it for a lot of years. Okay, to the point where I am comfortable to even speak what I'm speaking out and I do not care because too many people are getting stressed out because their life is in shambles and on top of that they're in modern slavery. 
I said it. Be you were not in chains anymore. We're not in chains anymore. But guess what? We are in a systematic situation. And a lot of us can't even get out. So what I'm saying is. Pick your poison. <laughs> at the end of the day. Because you have to find yourself within you need to know your worth and you need to have your happiness on top of choosing the battles on what to navigate with certain aspects in all aspects of your life because this thing called life is rough you're going to have times where you're extremely irritated and <laughs> frustrated and annoyed it's okay but you got to balance it with the hope the faith the happiness the calmness the you have to balance it out because not everything is going to go as planned. Not everything is going to be peachy keen. Even though we want it to be peachy keen as long as it can be. But that's just not most people's lives. And I just, again, I am the soundboard to know your balance. I know mine. Know your balance. I know the coping mechanisms that I have, you know, to do whatever to get me through I encourage people to do the same because I already know somebody you are or you know somebody else that is going through this I know so many people in this nation whatever country I know that people are crying themselves asleep every night because they can't take Waking up to an alarm clock. Mind you, I don't cry myself to sleep. But I would not want to. I, I'm sick of waking up to an alarm clock. Because I don't feel that is life. I know people. And I know women that want to be in a traditional role. And want to be taken care of. And want to be the mom of the. They want to be the monarch of the house. You know what I'm saying? I know women are feeling that way. I know men. Some men want to take the leadership, the set and the third. I know people want to get paid more for what they are doing in their workplace. I know people want more out of their life. They don't want to keep living paycheck to paycheck. They want to be able to take vacations. Mind you, social media can skew a little bit, but that is a realistic want. That is a realistic thing that people want to do because it is life. There is like... There's a percentage of people that never are able to leave their hometown. I was almost stuck in that situation if I didn't go to college. I would be the person that would be, you know, 60 plus and never left my hometown. That's the majority of people in my hometown. So I feel like I have a, even though I feel sometimes life is either really great or is in freaking shambles, you know, it's, I have to... And you have to understand what plight you were taking. I need to understand what plight I was taking on. And you understand the blessings that you got. And me personally, I need to understand what I got. You you need to recollect who you are, fam. Recollect who you are when people try to hate on you. When people try to try you. Okay? Because I know all about that. I know all about people trying me in real life. And guess what happens? They can't say nothing back when I respond. It is what it is. And I do not care. I don't care. And I'm just saying this because I'm a woman of my word. I'm a woman of action. This, that, and a third. Right? I am going to do whatever I set my mind to. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what the measurements have to do and mind you i'm not doing anything to compromise my soul in the process i am going to do it as clean and straight as i can because i know the quality and the effective steps that i can take for it to happen okay i know somebody hearing me i know somebody hearing me so i just want to pop on here to say that message because when the spirit compels me to say something, I'm going to say it. It is what it is. And I'm going to keep it a buck. Okay? So what I'm going to do now, before I even go, I could go 45 minutes. 
talking about this, but I'm not going to talk your ear off, okay? We're going to get back to the fun because I want to get back to the fun. I'm done venting. I let it out. My frustration, it left the body, okay? See, see what I do? See what the community in this does for me? It helps me. So, I want to record cooking. I really wanted to record me grilling, but it's raining. It's okay. It's all right. We are going to do the old-fashioned pan-seared burgers. You heard me right. That's what we're going to do. I don't know what side. Well, are we doing burgers? I still haven't decided, but I'm still leaning towards it, like I said. So, yeah, let me do my night routine. Let me get super comfortable. And then you may see a little cooking with Ash little situation because I would be making some fancy dishes when I cook. Okay? That's what I'd be doing. I just don't record it. Let me know if y'all want a cooking series. I just know, you know, certain angles, aesthetically pleasing situation. I don't know if I'm there yet, but we'll see. Okay? All right. Come on. So tonight's meal will be one of my favorites, burgers and fries. So as I'm showing you, there is a waffle cut that I chose for this specific dinner. Just went to the grocery store and saw what was appealing at the time. Didn't have a method to my madness. But I'm spreading the fries, as you saw, and sprinkling olive oil over them. To me, it just makes it... Uh, crispier mind you I never pay attention to the directions of the bag it just doesn't make sense to me and steak seasoning we gonna load them fries up but back to the bag I if it's a whole bag or a half bag I usually kind of almost double the time that I bake them because I just don't like to fry my fries it just the oil content just takes too much time so jumping to just breaking off some lettuce. Now mind you, this head of lettuce is huge, but we gonna split that, wrap it back up, and give it a good wash. And then, same thing with the onion. We're gonna chop that in half, as you see here. Bada boom, bada bang, pow pow. Again, big onion for what? You know, it's just, it's boring it. Anyway, now to the pâtés. These are steak seasoned Angus beefs. I used a skillet. What I'm putting on now is Worcestershire sauce. Just to add with the steak seasoned flavor of it. And then I use my usual seasoning. I'm sprinkling salt as of now, mind you, I do this on both sides. Next is garlic pepper. I think this seasoning is a good combo for all meats, personally. Then I zhuzh it up with a little bit of paprika, but I didn't show that part. Do the same thing on the other side, as I said, with even more pepper. And then you just go and crank the heat up. I have a gas stove, so to me, I'm able to get more of like a charcoal grill type of burger. So I like that. And of course, spatula and tongs to grab the fries when they're done. Bun of choice, sesame. Put it in a pan, mind you. I usually put it in a skillet, but we gon' butter them buns up honey give them a good toast because ever since i t i got taught to toast the buns you girl ain't never go back i toast any type of bread that i have with a meal period and then with the leftover since i had the little butter just put it on top of the burger why not right oh them things cooking up good honey check on them fries looking good looking good now it's time to plate Ooh, 
Ooh. Ooh, with the mustard, yes. Ooh, the lettuce. Gotta get the mayo. Gotta layer it up, you know what I'm saying? Toasted bun, you see it. You already know. Then the onion slices. Now, mind you, I love all types of onions. Don't judge me, judge your mammy, okay? <laughs> Comment below your favorite burger toppings. Because to me, this is classic. Get some ketchup on there. Top it with the bun. Ooh, yes. It gave gourmet. I'm not even going to hold you. Now, mind you, don't judge me. There's a lot of fries on the plate. It don't matter. Bon appetit. And that's all, folks. I'm only apprehensive because I have, like, I feel like I have 30,000 dishes to do. So, let me go do that because in the morning, we like a good, clean home. In general, we like a good, clean home. But, just, it helps me, okay? Gonna go back to watching my documentary that you probably hear in the background too. So don't want to take too long with this outro. But I hope that you enjoyed the video overall. We had some talks. We had a little adventure time. And we had a little cooking session. So if you like what you see, comment, like, subscribe, get notified. Okay? You already know the drill. I gotta tell you. Other people tell you. I gotta tell you. Okay? But until next time, take care.